Hello, today I am going to discuss about control valve CV. What is a CV? Okay, you can see here CV. CV is a flow coefficient of control valve. Sometimes people call CV as capacity index. <coughs> okay, this is a formula for the volumetric flow rate of the liquid. Okay, Q stands for volumetric flow rate or liquid in gallon per minute unit. P1 minus P2 is differential pressure where the P1 stands for upstream pressure liquid in PSI. P2 is the downstream pressure or liquid in PSI. While the GF is a specific gravity of liquid which is a ratio or division between the liquid density to standard water density. These are the curves showing the relation between the differential pressure and volumetric flow rate. Okay, this curve showing the relation between the stem position opening and the percentage of full CV. I will talk about this curve in my future video. So today I will concentrate on this three curves one two three if you observe very carefully you can you notice that cv or flow coefficient value is not constant meaning cv reading or value can change it can change from the smaller cv value to the higher cv value depends on the valve opening position in order to make our life easier to make us easier to understand the concept of CV, we can roughly assume that CV or flow coefficient as a valve seat area plus the valve opening height. We can use this curve to understand the CV further. Let's say I assume that the differential pressure is fixed, okay? Like in this curve, the differential pressure here is fixed at 20%, sorry, 20 PSI. So from here, you can see the CV reading will change. The CV value change from 4.5 to 9 to 13.5 and 18. Depends on the different valve opening position. When the valve open at 25%, the CV value will be 4.5 for the flow rate of 20.1 gallon per minute. And if the valve is open at 50%, the CV value will be 9 and the corresponding flow rate will be 40.2 gallon per minute and so on. If let's say this differential pressure is variable, is changing. So what will be the curve looks like? Okay, for example, if the differential pressure is 18 PSI, okay, according to this curve, you notice that the CV is about 4.5 at 25% valve opening. The corresponding flow rate will be 18.7 gallon per minute. If we reduce the pressure from 18 PSI to 10 PSI, what will happen? You can trace to the curve. Okay, the you can see the CV will be 18 for the valve opening 100%. And the corresponding flow rate will be roughly about 57 gallon per minute. Okay, so now we can come to the calculation part to calculate the CV or flow coefficient. Let's say, assuming that the estimated maximum flow rate of the liquid is 470 gallon per minute, the control valve downstream is vented to ATM. That means atmosphere. What is the CV? As we know, since the control valve downstream is vented to ATM or atmosphere, the downstream pressure P2 is 0 PSI G, G mean gauge, right? So we can calculate the upstream pressure. The formula is P equal to weight density time, time height. Okay, height is this one. It's the water level all the way to here. Okay, weight density is 62.4 pound per cubic feet. We can get this value easily from searching the Google. Okay, you can type what is the weight density for water. The result will be 62.4. Okay, height is this one, 25 feet. 
So the upstream pressure will be 1560 pound square feet. Okay, you can again use the Google to convert PSF pound square feet to PSI. So you will get about 10.8 PSI. So this is a formula for volumetric flow rate. You can put in the value that you have. Let's say the Q volumetric flow rate is 470 gallon per minute. Then the P1 upstream pressure is 10.8. The downstream pressure is zero. As I mentioned, the P2 is zero. The specific ratio for water is one. So the CV will be 143. This means that we need at least about CV or 143 in order to pass estimated maximum flow rate of 470 gallon per minute with a pressure drop of 10.8 PSI. If the control valve that we bought having the CV lower than 143, we will unable to get the maximum flow rate of 470 gallon per minute. That's all. Thanks.